Well, Sam, another regional finals is in the books here at Maslin High School, home of Paul, Paul Brown Stadium. It was an, another outstanding performance from some of the top prospects in the country, but we got to talk about one matchup. Zach Harrison versus Justin Rogers, arguably yeah. the two top linemen in their respective classes, it, and it didn't disappoint. One guy won yeah. one matchup, the other guy won the other when it, when it came down at the end. Yeah, Justin Rogers start, started this thing out very, very strong. I mean, the young guy who most people project to be an inside guy in college, playing tackle out here, uh, and for the first you know three, four reps, he bested the number one player, number one defensive end in the country, or number two now maybe, and uh, and Zach Harrison. It was out, amazing to to watch a guy, uh, you know, that has a a height disadvantage, uh, maybe a speed and quickness slight uh, disadvantage, uh, and and really uh, maximize what he had. A great feet, a really good punch, but eventually it evened out. To your point, Zach Harrison came back. Uh, in the final series of reps, three straight reps, uh, and he beat Justin Rogers once with an outside move. Uh, another time, he beat him with a bull rush. Last time, he beat him with a swim move inside. Uh, just a tremendous, tremendous uh, specimen Zach Harrison is. And as you found out, uh, he is down to his you know, he is kind of narrow focused in on four schools, Michigan being one of them. Yeah, you got Michigan, Penn State, Ohio State, and Clemson. He said he wanted to take two, he's uh, definitely got two officials set up with Ohio State and Michigan this June and possibly Clemson. And he wants to take and make his final decision on his birthday, August 14th. Look for that story on the Michigan Insider. Yes, I'm plugging it. But yes, you got to go there to read all the inside scoop. Moving on, there was a couple other guys. Carson Barnhart, the guy who just committed to Michigan, he looked outstanding early. Yeah. Didn't lose many reps he, he really held his own today yeah you know Carson a couple of things number one uh, quickness uh, he is quicker than I think a lot of people uh, give him credit for the athleticism that comes from the basketball floor you can really see it with how well he moves his feet out here the other thing is uh, his 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 wingspan I mean he has really long arms so he's able to keep guys disengaged the thing he's working on is just technical things you know where his eyes are uh, you know not oversetting uh, getting, you know, being able to, to, in the hand fighting, being able to keep guys from, you know, getting the leverage advantage on him. Uh, but speed and quickness wise, uh, he was, I, see, I only saw him lose one rep. I think he lost two, maybe three on the day. Yeah, he, uh, he, he was one of the better offensive linemen here, uh, you know, and he's a guy that if you, you listen to what he said about Michigan and how they were going to use him, uh, of course, at one point he said they, they said they could use him up and down the offensive line, but really right now tackle and tight end, you know, early in his career to be able to get some extra blocking on the perimeter because of his athleticism, playing him some at tight end, that speaks to how athletic he is. Yeah, he definitely looks the part. Michigan got a good one in him. Look for those highlights soon on 247.com. Now also moving on, staying on that line, George oh, Kar Karloff yeah. says, yeah, I mean, he really yeah. has, I mean, Sam, you, yeah. I, I heard you many, multiple times that that first step. I mean, he is he can definitely play on the inside there on yeah. the defensive front. Well, you know, and that's the thing. You mentioned him playing inside. I mean, he's an outside guy, uh, you know, coming off that edge, and he is so quick out of his stance. His get off uh, is tremendous, and, and you saw just how good it was when they did put him inside. There was one play where the, the offensive guard had false started, and he still, he still got beat to the inside. Imagine that. A guy false starts, gets to the position, and Karloff to still beat him to the inside. That's how quick he is. And the interesting thing about that, while he's committed to Purdue, strong family ties to Purdue, the thing that he said is going to be a major factor, and you'll see it in the interview, but just to tease it a little bit, he said, you know, the, the, the coach, the program that can get me to the NFL, that can prepare me best for the NFL. That's going to be a huge factor in my decision. So he's going to be taking visits, Michigan being one of them. Michigan still has a, a chance there. And we already know Michigan has a strong pedigree there with Coach Madison. Uh, staying on the defensive side of the ball, an in-state guy, Lance Dixon. I've seen him multiple times. Yeah. You've seen him multiple times. We've talked to his mom. We've talked to his dad. He, he showed up today again. He's a guy Michigan's recruiting at Viper. Talk about what you saw today and what, and what sort of the feedback you were hearing from him. He's just an athletic freak. Uh, he's He's at every one of these events that you that he goes to. He's going to be one of the best athletes in attendance. He measured in at over six two, uh, over two hundred pounds. He clocked uh, in the mid four fives, and that's actually slow for him. He's faster than that. Uh, he can cover. Uh, he has loose hips. I mean, and he's going to get bigger and stronger and faster. 
Uh, you know, right now, two teams out front for him are Penn State and Wisconsin. Uh, you know, the in-state schools are still in there strong. Uh, he insists that that is in the case for, for Michigan and Michigan State. Going to visit those schools with the interesting thing in his commitment or his, his recruitment is going to end before the season. Uh, so he's looking to get it out of the way before his final campaign. Uh, going to be taking those official visits in the uh, weeks and months coming up here. And uh, we'll see how, how well Michigan fares. They're going to have a chance. Uh, you know, to make a, a strong impression before that decision is made on his official visit. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our coverage here from Maslin. Look for more coverage and more on the Michigan Insider.